If you're looking to make a grand dessert for a festive family gathering, well, I've got just the ticket. Trifle is traditional, and I do love it, but my Black Forest trifle, well, that is something special. I love that combination of chocolate, cherries, and cream. So I'll start off by making a chocolate sponge cake. A trifle has a combination of cake, cream, and fruit. So let me just set my chocolate aside here. And I've got four whole eggs with two egg yolks, and I'm going to add to that one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar. So this is a sponge cake. You can do it in a mixer or with electric beaters. You want to whip this on high speed for five minutes and also make sure your eggs are at the very least room temperature or you can even warm them in their shells in hot tap water. You'll get better volume that way. And I sift my dry ingredients, two thirds of a cup of all purpose flour and a third of a cup of cocoa powder. I find it easier to add my dry ingredients while the mixer's going on low speed. You can fold it in by hand, but you run more of a risk of getting little lumps, little pockets of flour left in your batter. There we go. Now, this sponge is rather pale in color now. It almost looks like milk chocolate, but as it bakes, that color will intensify and you get that full chocolate flavor. Now, the last thing to do is add two tablespoons of melted butter. And if I were to pour my melted butter right into the sponge cake batter, it would sink to the bottom. And actually, when you bake the sponge cake, you would have a dense layer at the bottom of it. So what I do is I pour the butter into a small dish and I just take a nice big dollop of my sponge batter and I combine that with the butter. So this little bit of batter might deflate a little bit, but now the butter is mixed into it. So when I add it to the big batch of batter, it's easier to incorporate. I have a nine inch cake pan. I've lined the bottom with parchment, but I've left the sides ungreased. When you're baking a sponge cake, you actually want the cake to stick to the sides of the pan as it rises up. That will help hold the volume as it bakes and sets. It's a beautiful thick batter. I've preheated my oven to 350. And this sponge cake takes 45 minutes to bake. I check the doneness by tapping the top at the center. If it springs back, then I know it's done. All right, now we've got the cake looked after when it comes to this Black Forest trifle. Now it's time for the cream or the custard. A traditional trifle has a pastry cream or a vanilla style pudding. Well, with a Black Forest cake, I wanna layer in the chocolate. So I'm going to make a chocolate cream cheese filling. It's kind of like chocolate custard meets cheesecake. I'll start by pouring in most of my three cups of milk. So like a pastry cream, I need some eggs and I'll thicken this with cornstarch. I've got three eggs and I just need the yolks. I'll add to the eggs a third of a cup of granulated sugar, a quarter of a cup of cornstarch, and I'll whisk in that remaining cold milk. It just makes it easier to add the hot milk to this base mixture. Now that my milk is just starting to simmer, turn it down slightly, and you can either ladle this or pour it right into the egg mixture. Back in the pot. As I'm returning this to a simmer, I'll add my six ounces of chocolate. This is dark couverture, so baking chocolate. You can use bittersweet or semi-sweet. The choice is yours. You'll see this chocolate custard start to thicken 
but you want to keep going until you actually see some bubbles break the surface. That way you know the cornstarch is fully activated and it's as thick as it needs to be. Oh, it looks so good. There we go. I'll take this off the heat and add a splash of vanilla. So this would be delicious in the trifle all on its own, but the holidays are kind of all about adding those little bit extras and taking things to the next level. So I'm turning this custard into a cheesecake chocolate custard. I have two packages, 500 grams of cream cheese, and I'm going to pour the hot custard over this. So the cream cheese actually serves a purpose here. It cools down the custard a little bit. And then I'll just use an immersion blender to blend everything together. Doesn't that look good? I know this seems quite fluid right now, but between the cream cheese and the chocolate, once this cools and chills, it sets up beautifully and oh, layered with the chocolate sponge cake. Of course, some cherries. I have four cups of cherry filling. You can make your own by cooking pitted tart cherries with sugar and a little cornstarch. I throw in a bit of cinnamon stick, but you can also use a prepared cherry filling. Also, I have my famous fudge sauce filling. And then you grab your trifle bowl. I have been known to use a clear flower vase, whatever you have on hand, just so you see those beautiful layers. So the layers start with cake brushed with syrup, followed by chocolate cheesecake custard, fudge sauce, cherries, repeat, repeat, repeat. All of these elements are typical to a black forest torte without having to go through the effort of making it. Except for the whipped cream, you could assemble this trifle a full day, even two days ahead of time. But I do like to put on the whipped cream and a little grated chocolate close to when I plan on serving it. Trifle truly is a holiday classic. But this Black Forest version, well, it makes a grand dessert that will get your family feeling so festive. And you can have a lot of people over with a trifle this size. So enjoy the moment, celebrate with family and friends, and happy holidays. <laughs>